Excellence is not a happening but a habit. I am nobody has won one of our recent quizzes and became a topper, winning 40,000 rupees. Even if you already won, please join the quiz, play with everybody, and once more, when you become winner, give the 40,000 rupees to. Your friends, your friends' friends, your roommates, roommates, benchmates, benchmates, classmates, classmates, reading roommates. So, so let us make the great beginning, Doctor. Three, two, one, start. The most hydrophobic. Most hydrophobic amino acid, very, very fundamental, easy, entry level question should be easy when the game begins. Very good, then most hydrophobic because without a question on amino acids there is no need PG question paper punch your answer doctor whoever punches reaches to the top isoleucine is what you need to remember that's great chandra always is our uh, First question may he reaches to the top of the leaderboard. Followed by Vicky, Shweta, Lipsana and Milky. So Dr. Ed, you should not forget. 
simplest amino acid is glycine. Most hydrophobic amino acid is isoleucine. Most polar amino acid is arginine. Most abundant amino acid in the proteins present in the body is alanine. And the most abundant amino acid in the plasma is glutamine. You're going to promise me you're not going to forget this list, list, list is very important to be there on your tips when you go for the tomorrow's neat PG exam. Good to see 43 online. I want 100 online to come. Please invite your friends also. More the merry. What is wrong about Alport syndrome? Alport syndrome. What is the type of collagen? What is the type of inheritance? What are the set of abnormalities that you see in the Alports? Very, very important. Boom, boom, boom. Who is going to give me the correct answer? Very good. To be correct is just not ready, not enough. To be faster in punching your answer is most important. Excellent. Actually, the answer was marked wrong. Those who got six people who got the correct answer as A, actually A is a correct statement. It is not the answer. Answer is B. That is, it is X-linked recessive. Sorry for the error in the key. It is X-linked recessive is what you need to remember. So, Dr. Alports is X-linked, type 4 collagen, hematuria, sensory neural deafness, and anterior lenticonus is the combination is what you need to remember. An alpha helix of a protein is mostly broken down if a missense mutation introduces which of the following amino acids? One of the following amino acids. If one of the following amino acids is introduced, the alpha helix of the protein is most likely to be disrupted because of that. Very good. I can see almost 35 of you. Glycine. Glycine ko bolte hain chotu. Jab chotu ko la ke bithayega, alpha helix ka disruption ho jayega. So, very good. That brings Guna Sundari to the top, followed by Jancy James. Now, doctor. Glycine induces the bend in the alpha helix. Proline also disrupts the conformation of the alpha helix. But the proline is present in the first turn of alpha helix. That's the point you need to appreciate. Now, doctor, these are all true about sickle cell disease. Except what? This is only true about sickle cell disease. Except what type of change in the amino acid structure happens? And uh, how do you use RFLP as a technique? What is the advantage of HBS? And why the sickling occur in the sickle hemoglobin at all? Why the HPS undergoes sickling?
eight of you are right that single nucleotide change results in the change of the glutamine to valine is what you need to remember so that brings Jancy James to the top followed by Gunasundari, Chandra, JJ and Milky. Vasan is a very fast climber. So you should remember doctor, sticky patch is generated because of the replacement of the non-polar residue to the polar residue is a wrong statement. Now, in the hyaline cartilage, what type of collagen is there? This is one of the most standard question in the exam hall. If you say, oh my God, I'm surprised to see this question. No, you have not played the game at all. So out of 300 questions in the tomorrow's need PG, FMG, 270 are predictable. Every day by playing the quizzes, if you get the top rank, great. You get a 40,000 uh, rupees worth of a prize. But even if you get, even if you participate, there are a lot of beautiful things that you are going to learn. So don't forget, every year we conduct 1,000 quiz tournaments. Every week, 18 quiz tournaments in 18 subjects. Very good. 25 of you have correctly answered. That gives Gen C James highest answer streak of five, followed by JJ, Gunasundari, Chandra, and Belki. So, Doc, the major collagen in the bone is bone, type bone. And the major collagen present in dermis, ligaments, tendons, type one. In the cartilage, type 2 is present. In the hypertrophic cartilage, type 10. In the iota, type 1 and type 3. In the basement membrane, you have type 4. 4 is for floor, which is like basement. And the most abundant collagen is type 1. And the major collagen in the keloid is type 3 more than type 1. So please don't forget about this collagenology. Sairam rightly reminds cartilage is the type two is what you should remember. The amino acid which serves as a carrier of ammonia from the skeletal muscle to the liver. Co-recycle. Co-recycle. Who is going to give me the correct answer? Who is the major carrier from the skeletal muscle to the liver? So, who is the major palanquin bearer of the beautiful princess called Ammonia? From the mica, which is skeletal muscle, to the sacral, which is liver, who is the carrier? 23 of you are right. <laughs> Alanine is the one which is the carrier, is what you need to remember. Jan C. James is rocking the story. Six correct answers in a row. Excellent, doctor. So you should remember. Transport of ammonia from most tissues, including brain, is glutamate. I mean glutamine. Ammonia from skeletal muscle is alanine, is what you have to remember. Glutamate dehydrogenase in mitochondria. It is activated by What is the activator of glutamate dehydrogenase in mitochondria? Biochemistry 
is purely the subject of rote memorization anatomy biochemistry preventive medicine they are all pure memorization doctor you can't help it only thing is you need to be determined to do the revision so every day three shows morning 10 am 2 pm 10 pm sairam suggested we will do it 9 pm instead of 10 pm let me check that very good five of you are only correct see how many have undergone clean bowl even jancy james could not make it sesha 23 took an op opportunity to shoot up very good sesha now doctor you need to remember the liver glutamate dehydrogenase is inhibited by ATP, GTP, NADH and activated by ADP. So these are some of the important issues. Now, a six month old boy admitted with failure to thrive with high glutamine and a high uracil in the urine. Very important clue. There's hypoglycemia, hyperammonemia. Treatment was given for two months. At eight months, again admitted with failure to gain weight. Gastric tube feed is not tolerated. Child became comatose. Parental dextrose was given, and the child has recovered from coma within 24 hours. With all these clues, what is your answer, Doctor? Yes. Punch your answer. The one who punches the first. A long clinical vignette, but a favorite clinical vignette of examining. Excellent. Ornithin transcarbomylase deficiency is what need to be remembered. That's good. That brings Sesha Gopalan, our previous stopper, shooting up like a rising star. And Sairam is in the position five. So, Doc, high glutamine usually is seen in hyperammonemia because ammonia is mainly transported by in the form of glutamine. Increased uracil in urine, it is seen in ornithin transcarbomylase defect. That's the point you need to appreciate. Now, this is a beautiful question, doctor. Whoever answers this question correctly is really, really, really super duper in biochemistry. Type, type 1, that means there is also a type 2. Type 1 tyrosinemia is caused by amino acid metabolism is one of the most high yielding area for the neat PG examiner doctor you have to be 100 percent sure punch fast punch right Punch high score. Very good. 21 of you have rightly answered. Fumarile acetoacetate hydrolase. 4 plus 3 plus 3. 10 of you have wrongly answered. You may be wondering, oh my god, 21 people answered this correctly. Where am I standing? Yes, that is called Spadhaya Vardhate Vidya. The knowledge shines, knowledge expands when there is a competition and you are competing every day. I am sitting here to inspire all you guys to fight three times a day PID and make yourself ready for the real fight of the life. 
the NEET PG 2021. So Dr. Jancy James is on the top. Sesha Gopalan is ramming quickly to snatch the crown from Jancy James. So Doc, classical phenylketonuria, phenylalanine hydroxylase. Homogeneous oxidase is alkaptonuria. Fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase is tyrosinemia type 1. Tyrosine transaminase is the tyrosinemia type 2. Tomorrow's exam, ditto, ditto, same question comes, you'll remember Dr. Murali Bharadwaj. Which is true about glycine? Glycine. So glycine is always the favorite uh, amino acid for the NEET PG examiner, FMG examiner, USMLE examiner. Boom, boom, boom. What is your answer? What is true about glycine? Punch fast, punch big. Thirteen of you are right. Glycine is an essential amino acid is wrong. So Sesha Gopalan <laughs> took away the crown. What happened? Jancy James, Kim Jong Un Jr. His Royal Highness President of North Korea is also playing. Very good. So, Doctor, uh, glycine is an optically inactive amino acid. Is what you need to basically remember. Now, guanido acetic acid. It is formed from and in. Where is it formed? From what it is formed? Punch your answers, doctor. Is it formed in liver? Is it formed in kidney? What are the amino acids whose combination lead to the formation of guanido acetic acid? Very good. 11 of you correctly answered. It is found in the kidney from arginine and glycine. That brings iron nobody into fifth position. So doctor, arginine plus glycine in the kidney. What is the metabolic defect in primary auxiliaria type 2? Type 2, not type 1. Very good. This is a beautiful question. If you answered this, super duper. Very good. Six of you are right. Primary auxiliaria type 2. A relatively uh, rare question. Harsha has reached position 4. So, doctor, primary hyperoxaluria type 1 is the most common type. 
it is the peroxysmal enzyme alanine glyoxylate amino transferase expressed only in the peroxisomes in the liver and it requires pyridoxin there is the hyperoxaluria type 2 is also called glyceric acid urea it is due to the deglycerate dehydrogenase deficiency is what you need to remember who said biochemistry is easy yeah but secondary hyperoxaluria this is one of the hot mcq in the tomorrow exam pyridoxin deficiency after you take ethylene glycol or high doses of vitamin c methoxyflurane after administration and in inflammatory bowel disease any of them can lead to secondary hyperoxaluria is what you have to remember is ka answer correct bolo mere pyare yaro then you are the future need pg topper no doubt about it but if you answered wrong don't discard them it is an inspiration for you to go back to online mbbs.com video library and do a quick revision we have almost 35 hours of video lectures on the online mbbs.com video library in the biochemistry six of you are correct about isovaleric acid julia and that brings 001 quickly shooting up through a hat trick. So, doctor, basically, isovaleric acidemia, whenever it is there, you can administer glycine in order to reverse it. You can also give L carnitine as a part of the treatment, is what you need to remember. Oxaloacetate. Harek amino acid ki atma. Citric acid cycle may ek metabolite ban jayega. We have discussed it thoroughly in our uh, past uh, biochemistry discussions. Oxaloacetate is derived from much amino acid. A relatively easy question. Boom, boom, boom. Who is going to win that 40,000 rupees? Let me check. Asparagine and asparatate are the ones which give rise to Oxaloacetate. Oh my God! 001 took up a helicopter and shooting up like a space rocket. Come on, Jancy James, get back the crown. So, doctor, asparagin and asparatate form oxaloacetate. Glutamine and glutamate translate into alpha ketoglutarate is what you have to appreciate. Succinyl CoA. Kiss amino acid ki atma. Succinyl CoA banjayaga. After amino acid degradation, how does it enter into citric acid cycle? Succinyl CoA is formed by four of you are absolutely right it is the valin whose atma 
after degradation of valine will enter into subsinyl koi very good jansi james <laughs> just like uh jansi lakshmi bai jansi james also is heading to get back her crown very good succinyl coa is formed from three amino acids valine leucine methionine valine leucine methionine that's what you have to mug up for the tomorrow's exam what type of gluten receptor in the myocyte is stimulated by the insulin stimulated by the insulin very good harsha is giving a good mnemonic v i m vim for something like way so glucose transported in myocyte stimulated by insulin is which gluten receptor 19 of you are right by saying glut four very good jj rightly answered and quickly taking up his position come on there are nearly about 2000 points gap between sesha gopalan who is our serial killer excellent so you should remember glut four heart skeletal muscle adipose tissue glut 8 is in testis blastocyst glut 12 is in the heart prostate and white adipose tissue in mammary gland so insulin receptor insulin sensitive responsive glut receptors are glut 4 glut 8 glut 12 that's what you need to remember the last question for the today's evening deciding the topper going to win going to win 40000 rupees of prize come on defect in renal glucosuria is what one easy question boom 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 so please don't forget even if you could not be able to make it to the first position no worries from second to 10th position if you are there give a call to our helpline 9008683563 and there is a surprise discount waiting for you to activate your online mbbs.com video library 65 full skill grants 1 lakh powerpoint slides of notes 30000 questions q scanner and uh, 3000 video lectures in every day live online interactive session everything you become the owner and even if you are second to 10th rank don't forget to call today only or at most by tomorrow and claim the best discount surprising discount for you at a throw away prize you get an activation so dr sesha gopalan is sitting on the top most position so renal glycosuria is because of the mutations in slc582 gene which is the one which is encoding sglt2 in the proximal renal tubule is what they say remember so doctor time to give medallion and awards harsha in position 3 jansi james in 
position two, very close with each other. Sesha Gopalan wins for the second time. Now Sesha Gopalan can give the free subscription to his girlfriend or at least his roommate's girlfriend. No problem. Please take a screenshot and uh, send it to our helpline and get the activation of 40,000 rupees worth of it. So that brings us to the end. Every beautiful thing has an end. So also a misery also will end at a point. And uh, I like to thank you all for participating very actively, energetically. Tomorrow we have microbiology, pathology, pharmacology. 10 a.m., 2 p.m., once more at 10 p.m. Good luck and see you all tomorrow morning. Have a great time.